over here. Vinay Pahari is Chief Investment Officer at uh, PGIM <coughs> India, <coughs> a mutual fund. Uh, Vinay, good to have you with us here. Thank you very much uh, for your time. Uh, <coughs> so, you know, just uh, weighing on... Uh, the uh, the result season so far and a couple of na a couple of specific stocks uh, if you if if you will uh, i was just discussing names like uh, astral with uh, uh, with the, uh, our earlier guest uh, gurmeet do you own any of the building material type uh, uh, companies in your portfolio and what's the view yeah hi good afternoon prashant uh, thank you for having me on the show so yeah, we do own uh, quite a lot of building material owners. In fact, uh, we are significantly overweight consumer discretionary uh, as a sector in our funds. Uh, so, so we are very positive on this uh, overall segment of the market. Particularly, we see uh, we see a theme where consumers are upgrading. They are buying more of premium uh, products. And uh, this is more margin accretive for companies and top line accretive. So, yes, uh, in short, we are uh, fairly uh, bullish on this segment of the market as well. Which uh, which which categories, Vinay? So we we are positive on consumer discretionary as an overall theme, and within consumer discretionary, uh, as you mentioned, building materials or a QSR, retail credit, uh, anything which is to do with consumers trading up, buying more premium products. Uh, buying more discretionary uh, products. These are uh, companies which we own, especially the ones which also uh, also have uh, fairly high returns on equity. Uh, so these are the type of companies which we own uh, in, in, in our funds. Okay, got that. So like in the consumer disc discretionary space, Vinay, hi, good afternoon. And I was looking at uh, some of your uh, fund portfolios, uh, specifically the FlexiCap fund. Uh, even the large cap fund, for that matter, there's a there's a fair amount of representation of uh, large financials in many of those funds. Uh, so, what's your sense from here on? I mean, is that a position that you're comfortable holding? Uh, and if you were to put more money to work in BFSI, what spaces would you look at? Yeah, hi, hi good afternoon, Sumi. So, we are very positive on the overall financial space, and within financial space, uh, we are uh, positive NBFCs. We are positive most of the private sector banks, largely because of the fact that these are companies or segments of the market which have produced pretty high returns on equity in the past. They have capital efficient business and they, have, they are present in a segment of the market which is growing fast, specifically the retail side of credit. So as you would notice, most of the retail credit markets are booming and uh, private sector banks or NBFCs are big beneficiaries of this trend. And uh, we are participating in, in most of these uh, opportunities. No interest in uh, PSU banks? And that's where there's been a absolutely uh, crazy rally, if I could say. Yeah. So I think uh, PSU banks uh, in particular and most of the other companies which possess low returns on equity and low earnings growth, they have uh, been delivering extremely strong returns in the last three years, especially since March 2020. I think uh, that is a su surprising trend which we have noticed in the last three years. Uh, maybe that's uh, due to uh, increase in uh, interest rates, uh, which has been quite substantial, uh, which has triggered uh, most of these cyclical companies doing well. But, but I think over a longer period of time, most of these uh, weaker ROE companies uh, have delivered weaker returns or have underperformed the overall uh, universe. And hence, we think uh, that this uh, phase is temporary, wherein we are seeing outperformance by most of these uh, weaker companies. And, and uh, over a period of time, uh, markets will normalize and will start rewarding good quality companies. You know, uh, you, I uh, think, own ICICI and HDFC Bank, at least what I can see, maybe they are the top holdings, and you own other banks as well. Uh, uh, do you, let me uh, begin by asking you, I mean, the industry and the access, access, uh, access are even lower down, Avinay? Yeah, I think, uh, Prashant, if your question is, uh, uh, which are the types of banks, I think uh, most of the large private sector banks uh, possess these qualities of uh, having higher than average returns on equity, 
and these are banks which are participating in high growth segments of the market. So yes, we are pretty well spread out across the length and breadth of uh, financials, specifically the banking space and the non-bank uh, finance company space. So the I think that's that's where we are invested in in our financials <clears throat> basket. Okay, and uh, in the non-bank is uh, housing finance companies or uh, something else? Yeah, it's it's mostly housing finance or consumer okay. lending companies. I think uh, companies in if you notice uh, in the last three four, three to four years, uh, most of the other uh, segments of retail credit markets have started doing very well, like personal loans. Uh, uh, loans against properties, etc. So I think uh, uh, overall retail credit as a, as a theme is doing well, and uh, and uh, most of these NBFCs and private sector banks are participating in them wholeheartedly. Okay, all right, we'll leave it there. Vinay, we'll uh, uh, appreciate you joining in and uh, great chat as always. Appreciate your time here on uh, CNBC TV 18. Well, the market's down 26 points or so, 19,645. Uh, we'll take a quick commercial uh, break here. Uh, we'll uh, come back in just a bit. There's uh, more lined up on the other side.